Hello everyone, I'm Dave Robbins with End Time Ministries and this is your Prophecy in the News. I want to talk to you today about the moves towards a godless 2012 presidential election. I found three very um, alarming articles in the news recently. I want to go over a few of these and kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. The first one says, a U.S. Democratic Party uh, removes references to Jerusalem as Israel's capital from the official platform this year. It's found in Heretz on September 4th. Uh, the first uh, part of it says, the 2008 platform, uh, Democratic platform, said that the creation of a Palestinian state through final status negotiations, um, together with an international compensation mechanism, should resolve the issue of Palestinian refugees by allowing them to settle there rather than in Israel, and that Jerusalem is and will remain the capital of Israel. Uh, the parties have agreed that Jerusalem is a, matter of, is a matter for final status negotiations, and it should remain an undivided city accessible to people of all faiths. When you jump forward to 2012, however, the de Democratic platform made no mention of Jerusalem or the international compensation mechanism to resolve uh, the issue of the Palestinian refugees. So we're watching the Democratic platform this year removing the stance that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Very alarming. Um, and then the second article, uh, Democrats remove all references to God from the 2012 party platform. Uh, another alarming stance by the Democrats, and this is found in the blaze on September 4th. The first one says, um, the first part of the article says, in 2008, uh, the Democratic platform read, we need a government that stands up for the hopes, values, and interests of working people and gives everyone willing to work hard the chance to make the most of their God-given potential. There's the key phrase, their God-given potential. Jump forward into 2000, that was 2008. Jump forward into 2012, this last statement, the most of their God-given potential has been totally removed from the Democratic platform and now there is no mention of God at all on the Democratic platform this year. Totally removed all mentions of God. So another alarming stance on the Democratic platform this year. Uh, and then the third article I found was the Democrats place gay marriage on the convention platform. So uh, this was found in USA Today on September 4th, uh, yesterday. And then it says, um, of course, last night, they endorsed gay marriage. Of course, Obama came out uh, supporting gay marriage in May of this year. And on the Democratic platform last night, the Democrats became the first major U.S. political party to endorse gay marriage. Of course, that's an abomination to God, but yet the Democratic Party has came out endorsing that. They're the first political party ever to endorse gay marriage. So... What we're watching here, it's all in the news. You can go read it. There's hundreds of articles on it. Three major moves by the Democratic Party away from God and towards a secular view for our nation. It's their Democratic platform this year. And so um, you say, well, hey, you're just pushing uh, the Republican Party and against the Democratic Party. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that Romney is a saint at all, I may be talking about him next week. What I'm saying is these are three alarming stances that you need to be educated on about the Democratic platform this year when you go into the polls to vote. And so you say, well, what, how, how are these three moves away from God by the Democratic, Democratic Party? Well, let me, uh, let me reiterate the first one. In the Old Testament, God said that he would put his name in Jerusalem forever. And the Democratic Party does not choose to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Number two, by removing God from the Democratic platform. How can, this is the United States of, of America. How can you remove any mention of God in your platform running for the, president, the, the office of president of the United States? And then three, by promoting the same-sex marriage, which is an abomination to God all throughout the Bible. The marriage was defined as between a man and a woman by God back in Genesis and all the way through the Bible. And so they've chose to promote same-sex marriage this year on their platform. And so um, very alarming, three very alarming moves away from God towards a secular stance in the Democratic Party this year. So do your research because obviously 
This election will set the course of our nation for the next four years. How will you vote this year? Do your research. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Robbins with End Time Ministries, and this has been Prophecy in the News.